Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your man LJ Ruffin, man. I just go to the same, man. We back at it once again. You know, um, you know, quarantine, it gives me a lot of time to reminisce. It gives me a lot of times to, you know, think back on stuff that's happened to me or stuff that might happen in the future. Whatever it is, I've just been thinking. But, um, yeah, man, I got a whole bunch of stories that I, like, you know, have in the back of my mind. I'm just like, do people need to hear this? You know, like, I got a whole bunch of stories, man, from, you know, meeting famous people to, you know, girls to, you know, just a whole bunch of stuff that happened to me that I feel like at least someone's gonna get a laugh out of it. But uh, long story short, man, I got a new story time for y'all today. This is gonna be the first one. Give it a round of applause, everybody give it a round of applause. Let's get it. But um, yeah, new story time today. Um, so today we're gonna talk about my first camp crush, okay? And I never knew that these were real. I never knew these were real, but apparently it's a thing, man. Whenever you go to camp, there's always gonna be somebody that you're attracted to just cause of the camp nature. I don't, it's weird. I, I don't know why that's the case, but it just is. Before we get into the story, man, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, oh, oh this t-shirt? Oh, you know, just link, link in bio. You know, don't worry about it. Um, you know, the t-shirt, you know, ice cold, cold bear, you know what I'm saying? You know, we got all the hoodies, t-shirts, sweatshirts, you know, something like. So, y'all seeing the shirt, y'all like, <laughs> hey, that's so hard. Um, you know, that's where I got it from. You know, just check the link in the bio, man. Nothing major, nothing major. But story so this was let's say sixth seventh grade maybe even fifth grade so we had this thing to where we had to make a project about i guess something and just something i guess because i i had niggas doing shit on science and then i had niggas doing shit on wrestlers i was a nigga doing shit on wrestlers so like you know these like different uh branches of shit that you could do so I guess I did like athletes or something. I did I did uh, Batista, you know my nigga, <laughs> you know the animal, you know what I'm saying the beast, you know you know what I'm talking about, right? Long story short, I did it on him. So I think I think no matter what happened, you got to go to this camp if you paid whatever money, and then you got to go present your project there in order to win that category or some shit. So I went. Or maybe I did get selected, I don't fucking remember. But we went and um, you know, you get like it's a whole bunch of kids from my school, whole bunch of random other kids on the bus, and you know, we're chilling. You know, so I'm friend, I'm chilling with my best friend Chris. So Chris, y'all probably gonna see him eventually, but yeah, Chris, that's my guy. So we're chilling on the bus, you know, me and him side by side, you know, he's cruising, cruising, you know, minding our business. And I you know I'm curious, you know, I'm just looking around, you know, who who else who else with us? Check behind my seat, and it's just it's just a cute girl, alright? She cute, you know what I'm saying? I got a girlfriend right now, but you know, this is the story. I gotta tell the story. She was cute, she was cute, man. She was cute for the, for the time being, and I was like, oh, man, she cool. So, you know, me personally, I'm an open person. Like, if I like somebody or I got something to say, you know, I ain't afraid to say it. So I'm like, yo, Chris, dang, but a girl behind me, she kinda cute, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, yada, yada, man, that'd be cool if you talk to her, you know? I, you know, I was telling him, you know, telling him my business, I was just telling him, you know, just for him. That's just for that nigga. So, we had to stop to get like lunch or whatever because it was like a it was a wild it was a long journey over to the place we were going it's called rock eagle so on the way there we stopped at mcdonald's and during that stop bro this nigga chris bro he sold me out like a mug but like i don't even know why i'm still friends with him all the stuff he pulled but like so we stopped at mcdonald's you know we chilling at the table or whatnot it's me my other friend Chris and Marlo, some other dudes, some other dudes. We all chilling, and I was, just, I was like, yeah, man, the girl over there cute. He's like, oh yeah, she is kind of cute, yada yada. So I see Chris walk up. He said he's gonna go get ketchup or some shit. He said he's gonna go get something. I'm like, oh, yeah, I ain't worried about it. So I'm talking to my friend out of my business. I look back at the girl. This is the worst, bro. You, you, this shit the worst. So I'm looking back at the girl. All I see is her looking at me. And Chris is talking to her. And I said, no. And I was like, I got my french fries in hand. I was like, fuck, man. Like, why? Why? Like, why me? Like, why this nigga? Why he like this? So he just pointed at me and she looking at me. And I was like, damn, bro. Like, why he snitching? Because she says, like, the worst thing about it was she sits right behind me on the bus. So, like, there's no way to avoid that. So I was like, damn. So he comes back. I was like, what the fuck you do that for? And he's like, yo, man. You know, man. I knew you weren't going to shoot your shot. So, you know, I had to do it for you. Y'all. That got me heated, man. So like, on a whole red the rest of the bus ride, I, I'm mad as as mug at this dude. So I'm just like, bro, like, first day you ruining this trip for me. So we get back on the bus, you know, she sits right behind me. So I'm just chilling, 
put my headphones down. I was kind of like, fuck it, man. Shit ain't going to go good. Like, nothing, like nothing's going to be good today. So, out of nowhere, you know, I, get, I get one of these. I get one of these. Like, she right behind me. So, I get one of these. I said, is that crazy? Are you? So, I'm, I'm looking away. And like, nah, it's hurting. I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. So, I, I'm, I, man, big boy pants on. I was like, oh, what's up? And I'm talking to her through the cracks in between the seats and shit. <laughs> oh, what's up, man? Oh, your friend, your friend said, uh, I forgot if I said, she's like, your friend said, told me about you, like, she said, like, uh, you think I was cute or whatever, I'm like, yeah, man, you know, you're cool or whatever, um, yeah, 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 I mean, we talked, we talked, we talked it out in the little, uh, in between the seats or whatever, it's like, yeah, my name's Andrea, um, you know, uh, you know, it was, it, uh, we, we can hang out and, you know, we had like this party thing we had to go to once we touched down at, um, Camp Rock Eagle. So, basically we were like, yeah, we're gonna hang out when we go there. So, after that, like, I'm kinda in my seat all hyped and stuff and Chris is like, see, it all worked out. And I'm still in my head like, yo, fuck you, nigga. Like, you didn't know that was gonna go well or not. So, we get to Rock Eagle and we, it was a dance. It was a dance and like... I can't dance. I can't dance to save my life at all. So we're at this dance or whatever, and um, I got no moves, man. So like, I, I she was dancing well. I couldn't do shit. So I'm just kind of just doing like, remember Diary Movie Kid when Bro was just doing like, you know, just the the side the side joint. I was doing some shit like that. I was just trying to dance without getting flamed, and it was semi effective because she ended up not wanting to dance with me no more. So. It was a dub and an L because she wanted to dance, but then it was an L because I fucked that up, but forget that. But yeah, so after that, we all go back to our cabins. It's our first time being in the cabins or whatever, so I'm with the gang, and I'm like, yeah, bro, first day, and I'm talking my shit. I'm like, first day, you know, I already got a girl. Tomorrow, I got y'all. I'm going to hook y'all up. You know, it's like eight dudes in the room, and they all hype, like, yeah, but we all going to get girls tomorrow. Let's get it, man. Let's go. And I'm like, yeah, bro, I got all y'all. We hanging out tomorrow. Tough. <sighs> so, the next morning comes around. I don't know what happened from point A to point B. I did not hang out with them dudes one time that whole day. Like, I dipped, and then I uh, went to go hang out with Andrea. So, it's like Andrea, her friends, and I think Chris was rolling with us. So, we were just kind of just doing whatever, um, you know, just camp shit. You know, just climbing rocks and... You know, just doing some camp shit. You know, we were just chilling, having a good time or whatever. And, you know, every I think we stayed there for like two two nights or so. So like I'm just like, yeah, oh, you know, it's gonna be good. I'm be I'm gonna see her tomorrow. I'm probably gonna make try to make my move. So you know, the day's going good. You know, um, I come back to the cabin. Everybody was pissed. They like, they were like, bro. What happened, man? Why, why aren't you like, hanging out with us, man? Like, you said you gonna hang out with us, bro. We've been waiting at the crib all day. All day, I was like, I'm sorry. Like, I, I forgot. And, nigga, they jumped me, bro. Bro, they beat the shit out of me. Like, like, um, well, they didn't beat the shit out of me, but they all tried to beat the shit out of me. I, I don't know why they tried. Like, it was just like, a whole bunch of little, not little kids necessarily, but just like kids smaller than me. And then like, one kid that was bigger than me, but I couldn't fight, and I was just like, "Damn, bro, y'all some hating ass niggas, like for real, like, goddamn, like I, I can't, I can't talk to nobody without y'all getting mad." And, and also, on the other hand, I was like, "Damn, I did say I was gonna hang out with y'all, and I didn't, but you know, I was kind of like, well." <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> Next day, man, me and an uh, old girl, we uh, go hang out, and uh, her friends started trying to talk to me. And I'm like, yeah, what's up, guys? And they're like, yeah, Andrea really likes you or whatever. You should go, um, you know, talk to her. And